go, it's getting live. Avic versus Cypher. This is going to be absolutely massive. Give them a cheer. This is going to be great. So, do you want to have the honor of taking Fight. us away? Let's do this, guys. This is Cypher right off the top. He's spawned above Rocket, but he wants to go straight over to that red arm. And look at that. He has just claimed two major items for the price of one. Uh, going back as well, getting the lightning gun. He might even get the yellow. Oh, Avic just comes out of nowhere, surprising with a bit of plasma. But he's not hitting enough, and Cypher immediately takes him apart. First blood in this semis within the first 20 seconds. That's a really, really good sign. Avic, though, he has opportunity to get onto. Uh, oh, he's done Cypher. damn it. Oh, oh my wow. gosh, Two immediately. Massive rockets there. And that was really interesting because he only had a rocket launcher. He had to attack. Oh, no, Cypher coming in. Plasma Heavy is going to hurt a lot. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just surviving. One more bolt would have done it, but... Not quite, and now the Mega's coming up. See, this is like watching an Airwalk actually already. On Blood Run, it, indeed it is. And well, it's good to see though that Avic wasn't giving up that uh, frag uh, too easily at the beginning. It was just a little, a slight error, not getting a, well, getting a spawn, but not being able to get the most from it. Uh, but immediately coming back to Cypher and taking the lead is absolutely phenomenal. And now we're seeing him with a great amount of armor. Could top up his health a little bit, but uh, Cypher, he's sitting on about 100 health and 50 armor. Much weaker at this point. Yeah, I just want to just, I mean, that was three frags in 40 seconds. That's so crazy. Oh, look Whoa. at that. Beautiful there. Avic, Avic. he's trying to take a part, but he runs out of LG, but he is going to finish it off with the rockets. And he still had very little health at that point. Oh, point. Three to one right now. Avic doing what he needs to on his map pick, Blood Run. Oh, oh. oh just being held in the air for a little bit longer than he would have liked. Rockets, though. Coming from the top, Avex still does not have that rail gun, so he could not go for uh, any vertical shots with the gun. Avex looking really on point with the rockets and the LGBC, 45% on the lightning gun for him, definitely hitting a lot. And again, he catches Cypher with a direct right there for the second time at the shards. So far, it's just, this game is really intense uh, for a blood run. Things are actually slowing down now, as, as you would expect. So Avex is stabilizing on this, uh, on this score line, on this stack. And it's really up to Cypher to, try to break this. So I want to switch over to Cypher and see how he's doing. And you can see that Cypher, you know, he's not working very much at the moment. No, he's trying he's to scrounge not. together what he can find. He's going to get top yellow, though. So that's another little mini win for himself, bringing himself near enough 100 on 100. And this is more, well, I was going to say more than comfortable enough to be able to fight with this, but he gets hit by Rel immediately. And this is going to be red armor. That's Avec, he just hops off that platform. He knew that he'd have to wait another fraction of a second to get red, and that would also mean a rocket would hit him. But he's going to get Mega as well, and Cypher still on the edge at this point. Yeah, Cypher, he's managing to survive, keep the score line close. He knows that the, that's the most valuable play for him at the moment, and if he gives away too much more, things can get out of hand very quickly. So just being very cautious at the moment, trying to avoid, trying to grab what Avec can allow him to take. See here, there's a juicy red, there's the fake rocket jump to try to get Avic to come out, and that was exactly what it did. Very good play there from Cypher to minimize his risks. And there it is, finally goes to red. That was a beautiful way to take a red arm. Avic misses the rail shots there, didn't punish Cypher at all. And that is Cypher going to be landing a rail on him. But Mega is taken by Avic, he is going to get lower yellow. He's back to pretty much a fully stacked status, but Cypher is not far away himself. He has got a load of armor in the bag. Uh, I'm going to be very curious to see if they want to pick a fight soon or if Cypher's just going to wait for the next Mega Health and uh, I'll try to get, uh, get things crazy there. Yeah, still holding steady at the score line, but there's Avic with a bit of a push with the light lightning gun there. Cypher just holding on this position and again Avic doing it again wow, right I there. Love pushing these double backs and from pushing. Him. And look at Cypher's stack now. He put it up, took so long for him to do that. And now Avic moves in at the precise right moment there. So, so well done there by Avic. And Cypher's back to square one again. Oh, he doesn't realize that he's blown. Another rail would kill Avic at this point. He's got to back away. He should be able to get onto red armor, but that was extremely close. Cypher hits another rail, but Avic escapes with 15 points of health. 50 health bubble, gonna be a great help to him. And Cypher though. He's uh, a lot weaker still, but he loves playing out of control. Well, I say he loves playing out of control. He's just very good at it, basically. Yeah. And uh, he's certainly going to be waiting to pick his chances at the right moment. Certainly. So there is the charge for him. And again, here is the, mega, the red armor, sorry. And Mega just taken by Avec. In fact, and Cypher quite aware of that. But Avec not even peeking there. So Cypher once again with a stack. But once again, Avec. Oh, wow. Whoa, he might even finish him off. Just barely survives that encounter. And oh, good plasma there. But Avec, he is so on point with his execution right now. Every time Cypher tries to get something, Avec's in with a quick rocket before Cypher can even. 
I don't know, get a play together, Avex already in his face. That was crazy. Cypher, when he was down. Oh, hang on a second. There's going to be Avex moving into the lightning, and he is going to get frag number four. And this is pushing a great advantage, and right off the spawn, he's going to find Cypher. Going to convert that one easily. Cypher having a very hard time right now. There's the Mega. Avex dodge, and it's just his fighting is completely on form. I don't even know if Cy Cypher knows Avex very well, but I don't even know if he was expecting him to play this well so soon into the best of five. Yeah, he said this was a classic mm -hmm. map, and it certainly is. These guys know each other through and through on this one. And Avic is so far four frags ahead. You can hear those footsteps below. Avic doesn't necessarily even need to take this red armor. Would prefer to bait it. Would prefer not to take any crazy damage. Maybe get the drop on Cypher. And there he goes through the teleporter. Again, that red's still up there. And there he spots Cypher. Perfect timing from the pole right there. And that's going to be a lot of damage. But Cypher doesn't go through. Bit wow. of a surprise there. But Avic. He knows what to do with surprises. Exactly. Rockets. And that's uh, Kennedy uh, Mega straight over to red. And Cypher still playing on the back foot. Avex barely giving him anything. And it's absolutely fantastic to see. And Cypher, he needs to come up with the goods real soon. Gets a little bit of damage. Wants to go for some peak rail shots. Should we go over to Cypher's point of view and see what he's going to be able to do with a five frag deficit and four minutes in which to cash up? And here he is again. He's constantly in this position. And so far, he, we have never seen Cypher take something on his terms. Oh, Avix is always timing his fights with just, it's just amazing the timing of, of Avix's fights. And here, actually, Cypher taking oh, one on his terms. And he finds him. Him. Cypher, what a play. He's going to get a kill. Two fantastic rockets completely opening up that frag for him. And just back to square one on the stack, but at least he did get a frag on the board, which does help slightly. And there's still quite a bit of time left in this in this map to try to bring this back. Four frags, then red armor again. Doesn't want to jump over too carelessly. Oh, and Avic gonna go for this fight. Great rockets again from Avic, but Cypher's still alive. Yeah, he's still got it. Havoc rocking himself a little bit, doing a little more damage as well at the end. Mega is available. Cypher. Oh, he does hit the rail. Avex on 34 points and how the lightning come coming at nice. the rail. Three to six now. Avex in a bit of trouble. And that's going to be right. Cypher's going to be waiting quite a long time for this. And this is time he could be using to get other things done on the map. But he's going to go still. Should be able to pick up top yellow. And lots of time now until any item spawn. Yep, three minutes, less than three minutes left. Now two and a half, in fact. And Cypher has quite the stack. This is really the beginning of something. And he's going to find Avic with a great rocket there. Avic caught unsuspecting. Wow. And he goes down somewhat easily there. That's a mega pick up there for Cypher. The rocket jump up. This could be the moment that Cypher brings it all back. What can Avic do to stop this? He just needs to slow it down somehow. He needs to find a way to just avoid Cypher on the map. And Cypher's LG, he's going to try and get one more. Trying to chase around the corner. But well, Avic survives with actually only three health. One more bolt of lightning would have taken him down. And Avic now healing himself up a bit with uh, three 25 health bombs that he found. A few shards. And uh, Cypher actually not that much better off than him. Avic finds the yellow. And now they're even. And it's going to be a split on the major items. That's exactly what Avic needed. Great shot there from Cypher. This this uh, play really works out in his massively in his favor. Gets the rail, gets the damage on that red pickup. It gets a free mega. So Cypher now starting to get ahead. But there's only 90 seconds left now, and Avex still two frags ahead. He's got to try and keep Cypher at bay. How long can he do it? Cypher, he knows where Avic is roughly, but it's just a question of finding a way to get in. There goes the rocket jump. Doesn't quite pay off there, but does pick up the red armor. So Cypher, the clock is ticking, and there is Avic again. He's being very, very cautious here. He knows he's got to make the right move, and here it is. Avic, great engagement from Avic there. The damage is great, but he runs oh out of LG. God. Oh my god, Cypher bringing it back to a one frag difference. Mega's up straight away, but Avic's going to get it off the spawn. Five seconds until red. One Cypher, one. keep it together now when it matters the most. That is definitely the question here. Avic, one frag ahead. Oh, he gets caught by a Nazi direct, but gets out of there. But still, he is low. He is hurting pretty bad. Cypher, he smells the blood there. He's just going to go here for it. Oh, he finds him at Plasma Yellow. Pulls out the LG and Zoo. This might out. just be the frag. Avic, can he survive? Oh, and he misses the rail. He hangs around. He's absolutely nuts. He's actually sitting on the red armor at the moment. Cypher's very weak, and Avic pulls away. He does not hit the rail. 30 seconds left now. And Cypher, he's going to be able to get up there, but Havoc hits another rail shot. This is so important for him to keep this lead going. There's the jump over for Cypher. 
He misses it on the LG. Avic, he hits the rail there. Cypher wants oh. to hit it, but he's not railable. Avic is going to keep his lead with 10 seconds to go. And well, Cypher right there, that is going to be all out of time, all out of luck here on map number one of the semi finals. The final score is 7 to 5. I gotta say, so far in this tournament, Cypher, he's been looking absolutely stunning. Like his shape, so good, so dominant all the way through. To map number two here in the semi finals of DreamHack Winter 2013 at the Quake Life Championships. Off the start, we are on Avex Shotgun. Over to Mega Health, and he is gonna go to, well, the weaker side of the map just to get himself a railgun. And maybe he'll be able to get the LG as well very quickly. And here we are, Avex. Good positioning there. There's the yellow armor up for Cypher, though. And no frag just yet. No. Oh, there's the first rail. He suffered a bit of damage there. Don't to hit that rail. And there's Rick coming out. Cypher's got great position. He's actually going to go straight up the stairs for the fight. Oh, and there's so much wow. damage there. Takes him right down. And there is the red. So looking good for the Mega, or maybe not. 19 there you go. health left. And uh, getting that 25 to top him up a little bit. This Mega, oh, unchallenged. Avex not getting in his hair at all. And maybe Cypher's going to be able to put the pressure on that. Red, the yellow's just been taken. He needs to deal some damage to Avex. But the Polish players are doing such a great job at uh, well, staying alive and making sure that he doesn't have to fight for too long. Cypher, quick jumping jump across to get that red. He's ready now to take the fight to Avic down there over at the mega side. Can he get him though? This is, this kill will be really crucial timing wise. That's oh. so important. Five seconds to mega now, and Avic's not going to have any weapons to even harass Cypher with. So this is a really really strong moment to get a frag in there. Avic goes with that LG in the rockets, but Cypher. Excellent positioning there through the teleporter, making great use of them. And now catches Avic. It's so, so well done there by Cypher. Yeah, and he's still got a huge amount of control. Avic's got to be terrified at this point. He can't get in his face. And uh, Avic just trying to hit with some rockets, just some damage. He knows he's going to die, but he wants to hurt him as much as possible. And he barely uh, got a scratch on him. Cypher is still going to be running around the map like he owns the place. Cypher there, bearing down on his opponent. Oh, the rocket jump up is really strong there. Gets some nice damage here. And Avic can even get away from this. No, he's going to get dropped again. And that's 5-0. to zero. Cypher has found some incredible momentum in the beginnings of Aero Walk. And you can see really why it's his map choice. And can he catch the rail? Oh, beautiful. Does it in style. Yeah, he predicted that one excellently. And it's 6-0 now. But the thing is, Avic is starting to get the damage done. That rocket, and then he might be going down to the negatives. But uh, Cypher is not on 200-200 like he was earlier. If there's going to be an opportunity for Avic, it is going to be very, very soon. It's a good to find a rail. Definitely a good time to make a sacrifice there, that investment of your life there. Because you can see that there's quite a bit of time after he did that until the big items were spawning. But he hasn't really made a strong push, but he does manage to secure that red armor. Cypher was a bit shy to actually try to challenge for that, being a bit low as he was, but he does get the mega health. So this is a good chance for Avic now. And I actually want to switch over to Avic to see if he can do this. Bring this scoreline a bit closer. Right. Got hit by an insane rail there from Cypher. And he is trying to hold guard on this red armor. He really wants to take it. He knows if he loses that on this red armor, then he's probably going to be out of control for another minute or two at the very least. Cypher peering down over him, he does hit a rail. Avex still available at this point. He tries to go for the rocket jump, but the lightning gun gets him through the air. Seven to negative one now, three minutes in. Uh, Mega is up though. And Avex, is he going to be able to get the steal? That was a great rocket, but the lightning gun, not enough. And a return fire is coming here from the Polish player. Cypher just missing out on that angle. And what with no more health left up here, I wonder if Avex wants to go for a charge. He's actually looking for a rail angle down at the bottom and trying to avoid all of these grenades. Oh my gosh, so much damage. He's down to 22 health. Oh, and, oh he comes from the read. other side. Avic was not expecting that. That's such a great read. For no risk, Cypher grabbing that kill and reapplying that pressure. Now that 150 army just picked up, make that 175. Cypher, he should be able to get this mega health without too much trouble. There's a direct, but still, look how strong he is. Beautiful. Whoa. Rail there. And Cypher now with the rocket jump up. He's in position for red. He can just apply pressure where he wants to. And Avic is really at his mercy. Great rail again from Cypher. That vertical angle is pretty tough. And he finds the finish as well. So things are looking really grim for Avic. Oh, not only just four minutes suit, and it's already 10 to minus one. Avic has uh, two 11. rails in a row. Good damage. I wonder what he can do off the spawn. We're not even halfway through. So on paper, if Avic can get control by the five minute mark, then he's certainly going to be capable of uh, making up this frag difference. Mega's up. Cypher actually goes to red armor a little bit too early, and he's going to let Avec get 
an extra 100 health. So this could be Avex's moment, although Cypher's pretty strong. If you can find some kind of rocket here as Cypher creeps around the map. Could open up the fight in a way that gives him the favor. But there's a nice rail, but it is returned. Cypher. Look how Cypher knew he was going to move past there. He's they fighting each other's place so well. I love how Cypher's delaying, but I'm actually going to go in for this moment. He didn't want Avic to get a free red here. He wants to apply that damage as well. And there goes Avic, but here comes Cypher once again. So much warning. damage with that lightning gun. And Avic goes for the drop for this Mega. Can Cypher hit it? No, and that's going to be the Mega towards Avic, which is exactly what he needed. We're halfway through, and Avic so has plenty of time to bring this back. But this is a lot of frags, man. Yeah, it could be worse for Avic at this point. Uh, but it is let him get onto the Mega Health and probably will let him get the, the red as well. It's a rail for rail. This is going to benefit Avic, and Cypher moves out of it. Avic got plenty of time to get things done. So Mega up in 10. Cypher's really going to want to make a push onto that, but Avic, he's going to feel strong to contest this as well. You can see he's already poking his head out. It's a classic oh, fight again. Good direct. <laughs> oh, wow, the missed time from Avic. He moved out just slightly too soon, and it cost him massively there. Oh, but the grenade. There you go. <laughs> the grenade's actually forcing Cypher all the way back. He yeah. didn't have anything else, but apparently that's scary in the hands of Avec. And Cypher doesn't want to take any risks against those grenades. Red up for Cypher. And there he goes. And we could be seeing all of this control all over again if he's able to find himself onto the next Mega Health. Avec still has a decent amount of armor, but if he's going to take a damage and return, then he's in a lot of trouble trying to get the rockets. Not hitting enough damage, really. Cypher's LG is too much. We've got to get another kill over here. 13 to negative one. Cypher was not happy about losing the first map, so, well, he's completely in Terminator mode here on Arrow One. Yeah, he's really performing quite strong here, which is very nice to see there. And, oh, beautiful <laughs> display there again. Just, it's, it's almost art That's watching it. Cypher. GG, 14 to negative one was the score at the end, and Cypher viciously brings yeah. it to a 1-1 one, one map tie this here is, in the semis. This is one of the things that always made Cypher a bit special, is that he always was able to apply this almost effortless motion to his game, even if he's playing really good players. He almost error walks. So here we go, we're getting live, Avic versus Cypher. So already on cure. Let's do this, Cypher off the start. He's gonna be on to red armor. We go up the bounce pad, get the rail. Very standard start here for uh, the red side spawner. And he, actually, he's gonna go over to yellow very quickly just to see what's up. Avic on there immediately, but Cypher hits uh, the first rail of the game. And this might make things a little bit easier for him go, uh, at the second red armor. But he wants that lightning gun. He's really after that, but Avic is protecting it nicely from him. Uh, down that position there on the red for the grab, and so far things are quite quiet. Cypher will pick up a lightning gun here, or actually he's gonna get harassed, and he really needs to take that, there it is, does grab it, and he doesn't take any damage. Sometimes some players do like to make traps there, when someone wants to go for that lightning gun, but Cypher, you know, he wasn't the victim of any such trap, but here, Avic waiting Whoa. for him, and actually, oh, Avic, I don't know. Bad. With LG, Cypher might chase around the corner, but the rockets are good for him, Avic, not good enough. Cypher goes 1-0 here. Uh, Cypher, when he made that move into the yellow room, he was just going so fast, Avic had no time to react, and the rockets are going to build him a 2-0 lead now. Incredible quick performance now from Cypher, but he's not fully in control. If Avex is able to pick up some green armors or get Rocket or Veil quickly, then maybe he can even get himself onto one of the major items now. We'll see Avic going to go for this red attack here. Cypher defending from below, but Avic decides let's go for the split. And I think Cypher knows exactly what's up there, exactly the reason that Avic left him alone there. He wants to take that mega, so his, in his mind he's kind of counting up you know, the prediction of what he thinks Avic's stack should look like, so he can make some good informed attacks here. And Avic gonna drop down then. Cypher with that stack's feeling very confident. They're taking this fight, goes straight up the stairs. Bit more LG. Good trades though from Avic with the rockets. Oh, Whoa. great direct there. Avic knows it's time. He chases for it. Oh, and Avic is even gonna get the kill. That looks like a very unlikely situation. But now he might be able to convert. He surely won't be following through the teleporter. He's just too weak at this point to take risks like that. And just gonna slowly build up now. And Avic. Looking at a 1-2 to two game, with the Rocket he does secure that Mega, but Cypher's going to take him to the fight here, whether he likes it or not, he has to fight to get out of there, and Avic actually pushing oh. Cypher away, and so far, and Cypher goes down again, so now it's 2-2, two to two, and 
with this kind of scoreline. And Alex Stack. Oh, but Cypher's going to bring the fight to him before I can finish that four. This is the second rocket, but the shotgun comes out. LG is good enough, and Avic is now taking the lead. Oh, he finds Cypher straight away. Is he going to go for the rocket? He goes for the rocket with four health left. That was pretty clutch right there. He realized that if he went for the rail and he missed, then, well, his, his lead would be completely challenged. He's going to get onto red now. Oh, well, he's got to be careful. Cypher from above, but oh, he hits the next rocket. Avic could not pull through on that one, and he was going to lose out on Mega Health, surely. But with Rockets here, this is very dangerous for him. He's going to go through. Oh, and this is the air rocket. Oh, it's one health left. One. Cypher's got to escape from here. Avic oh maintains gosh. his lead. That is actually quite ridiculous. That one point of health, that's a pretty big difference. And look at him now. He's actually like completely fine again. Three minutes into this, it's such a close game. Red is spawning again. Here goes Cypher. Going to go for the drop here. Oh, there is Avic taking that. Cypher's got to be careful. He's got to preserve what he has right now. It is precious to him as it's not going to come easy to get more stack here against the likes of Avic in his position. So Avic is probably going to be over to the mega area very soon. There he is, picking up those shards. Cypher's going to hold him there. The Cypher's got to be careful because Avic can just bulldog him. Oh, great Whoa. rocket there. Beautiful. Something that's going to cue the attack. Avic might be able to get a kill over here. Oh my god, Cypher's what? LG was just sick. Four to four, and he's even going to be able to get that red. How that was, was that? Unreal, how, his LG. How was that Cypher sprag? That's just insane. And he finds him again. He's kind of trapped here, but Havoc using shotgun, not really the ideal weapon. Plasma is not quite the ideal weapon either. Oh, the shotgun working. He's taking down 11 health, but the again. rail picks him up out the sky. Here we've got the lead. We're not even at the halfway point, and there's still so much action to go. The 50 health bubble has been found for Cypher. But he's not got control by any means. He's lost out on red. Avec, is he going to be challenging for Mega? No, he's not. He's nowhere to be seen. Yeah, great stuff here so far from Cypher. But actually, let's just jump over back to Avec, see what, how he's doing. That's, uh, he's doing pretty well for himself at the moment, just yeah. getting all the weapons that he needs so he can try to have all the options he wants when he takes these fights. There it is. Avec's going to find Cypher pressuring Ooh. him over this red. Avic has to defend, and he no, can't not do it. able to. Cypher's LG is just... Well, catastrophically bad for Avex, to be honest. And that's what it results in. Ray Rail there from Cypher peeking through that little hole in the top. And just needs a little bit more damage. He cannot find it. Avex is going to escape with his life intact. But he's actually moving forward. The Rocket, if he hit that shot, he would have been at a one frag difference. And Cypher looking good right now. Although picking up Mega could mean that Avex will get onto red. There it is. Avex does get onto the red, but it's not without its price. And Cypher doing some nice damage there. And Avic, you know, he can afford to slow the game down still. But Cypher can probably read him quite well. And we have all these interesting little skirmishes between the players that aren't quite characteristic of your standard cure game. And Cypher right now, he's waiting patiently once again to try to find the fight. This is what Cypher loves to do. He loves to listen and try to find any information he can. Oh, just missing that pixel there of Avic as he stands strong over at the Mega. And he will pick that up. And that's a really, really Clean big opportunity wow. for Avic now. Yeah, and if he can get this yellow armor, he's going to drop down for it because Cypher on the top side, Avic would be able to escape easily for this, but he wants to be forward for a bit of damage. Misses, gets a uh, rail in the face, and he's going to step aside. Four minutes remaining in this one. Three francs for Avic to come back. And Cypher is very stacked, and his aim is just is so deadly. There he is Avic. Oh, wow. Caught by Cypher's Cypher again. Rockets. And there it is. He's going to drop down. And once again, Cypher's LG is what's brutal against Avic. I can't. I can't some, of the, some of the lightning gun that I've seen from Cypher today has been out of this world. Nice Avic again. He's there. pushing with the plasma. And he's going for a hyper aggressive move. Cypher goes for the flick rail. Not going to be connecting that one. He's not super strong at this red armor, so if Avic has anything left at all, he could actually try a play here for this response, but he's going to you know, go for the safer play and try to stack up a bit. And, oh, he's going to get caught going for that lightning gun. It's going to be the last thing he does with this life right now because Cypher's right there. He's holding there him accountable go. for such an error there, and it's going to be tough to get that lightning gun. And so now with the Mega and the Red spawning, Cypher's got to be responsible here. He's got to make sure that Avic can't get either. But it's like Avic, he really wants that red armor. And he's going to be holding this ground pretty well. Oh, but dear. that LG, what can you do against that? Not Avic, much. Avic starting to get good with his dodge on ever. Even so, Cypher uh, causing a lot of pain to his mate. 10 to 4, though. This is starting to become quite a substantial lead. Uh, Avic needs to find something uh, in the fuel tank within the next, what, by the 8-minute mark. 
if he really wants good chances, or at least some chances, of bringing back the nice, scoreline. Nice rockets there from Avec. Looking it pretty well. Another nice one. That could make the difference. Misses the rail, though. And that flick from Cypher. Pretty strong. And Cypher now, he's not he's not all too strong himself, though. And there is Avec. Oh, Cypher playing with fire there. If he gets caught by one of those rails at this point, it would be very nasty for him. But just slowing things down a little bit again. Listening. Trying to get... Some kind of bearing on his opponent's position. There it is. Knows that Mega's up and knows that Amex committed to that red. So there you go. That's that's the uh, that's the reward of listening and being patient. Amex not that far behind though. I mean, he's got 100 health, 150 armor, uh, and well, as you can see, Cipher not much more than that. Although this yellow will help him out quite a lot. But if Amex gets a good rocket at the beginning, oh my gosh! Well, it's going to be the reverse of that. Cipher picking up the rail shot. I think it might come down to this red armor. Oh, the oh, rocket there from Abek, a second one decent, and the third! And all of a sudden, Cypher's running around on 41 points yeah, of health. I'm going to switch to Abek. Yeah, let's do that. See if he can actually do this. There is the red pickup. He spots Cypher, misses the rail though. A little bit too slow on the reaction. And there is the Mega up as well. But Abek, he wants to get a shot. Beautiful picture rail there. Does the oh job. Gosh, Cypher misses his jump. This is surely going to be to his undoing. The rockets though are great. If he survives this, it'd be absolutely unbelievable. Avic having to flee with what, 30 health or so. He should have got the kill right there. Cypher making the error of his jump. He was a dead man walking. Yeah, that could have been the opportunity. Now time is really playing against him. And oh, just pushing him off that angle. And missing wow. the shot. Avic not connecting in the spots he needs to. There is a one minute warning. And a frag every 10 seconds. I don't know about that. Yeah, this could be a, a very challenging to say the least. Uh, Cypher, he just wants to stay alive. He doesn't care to commit to a fight or extend his lead whatsoever. He just wants to hold steady and put himself on match point. There's LG there from Cypher, looking pretty decent once again. And he wants to hang around a little bit, but he escapes with 24 health. There's the rail from Avec. With 30 seconds to go, what is it going to mean? Probably not a great deal right now, but he's going to keep pushing. He wants to mix up feel good for that next map. It is going to be a map that he's very good at. It will be lost well. He's seen that rail right at the top. But uh, he won't have to worry about the rail then because there is none in uh, DMZ. On this map, there were a lot of fights where it really looked like Avic should really win. But Cypher's execution, his aiming, was just so strong that Avic continue to take these fights and it's like, well, that looks like a great decision, but... GG, guys. 10-6 for Cypher. Cypher. He's now in the lead here in the semi-finals. Avic's got some chasing to do and it's got lots of things off uh, going well. Uh, he does not want to be chasing control. But guys, we're going into the fourth map here of the semi-finals between Avic and Cypher. Off the start, we are on Cypher as he has got that rocket launcher. Uh, straight down to the red armor, moving aside and getting mega. So he's got plenty of resources to work with, but Avec, he's going to have that LG. As First well as the rockets, in fact. So Cypher, the mission really is to get those weapons or to take fights in these really close close areas. And here he is, creeping, keeping tight to the wall. And there is a drop for that red armor. But the problem is, is that he really needs these weapons. He can't really comfortably take a fight in the center map or the middle. So that's his next priority. Get that LG. Let's see how he's going to do that. There is the first of defense on the Mega. And of course, you know, LG is so useful oh, here. Wow. Rockets are great. And oh, what a steal. Avec. Really? What that's a little ninja. On the center map. It's our Cypher's rockets are really good. Avec though staying here. And uh, Cypher actually on the middle section. I've spots him down the bottom, but Can we he have a cheeky steal award? Here. Because <laughs> that was just ridiculous from Avic. He sees that Cypher goes over to the yellow armor. He's only 100 100. Avic with a slight advantage here. But you know, it could all be turned into nothing, just uh, depending on how Cypher starts the fight. And exactly. Avic's actually trying to set up a trap at the bounce pad um, so below yeah. Plasma. And it, it's not going to work at all. Cypher's nowhere near that. But Avic uh, continues to pick up big items. Yeah, he'd like a fight uh, soon. Cypher was really forced. They both have have the mega time, but Cypher was forced away from it. He couldn't really, he can't really take any fights in the moment. He knows that it's really strong. He's looking good after the yellow, but he still needs to find a fight that allows him to do the damage first. He's, or he needs to get you know some some pokes and find some three damage. Maybe play off the opportunity that then follows. But otherwise, Avic with that 180 stack isn't gonna 
I'd rather suffer with the one that's attacked. Is it going to be really comfortable just going for it right now? But Avic, he's probably just going to see if Cypher's going to go and do something a bit nuts. But here it is, actually Avic! He wasn't Wait, expecting Cypher to be so close to the Mega. Yeah. He'd like to do some damage here, doesn't have any more rockets to follow. Cypher deciding he doesn't want to jump up. Yeah. There's a bit of LG, there's going to be the red armor behind. Havoc, he's only got 100 health, a 60 armor. A ammunition, really Very big still. issue for Cypher right now. He can't take a fight at all. He needs to replenish all that ammunition. And uh, Cypher, you can see him using a bit of LG there, but he's got to get out of this in these situations. He just doesn't have the ammunition. There it is, he's finding some boxes there, which are very helpful, but at the same time, it's still not enough just yet. And uh, he's going to see if he can get himself onto Mega. And we know Avic knows the time as well, so is he going to make a showing? He's right above. Oh, he it is. does get a bit of rocket damage going. Uh, red armor will be up. Cypher getting both the big Ooh. items a nice amount. Uh, they'll be just lifting Avic into the air there. Although he's finding his own damage onto Cypher, he can move back now for a yellow armor. And still, with all that uh, damage up, but Avic is, isn't far behind at all. He's only maybe 30 or 40 health behind. That's uh, so spots Avic in the distance again, going for those yellows. And Cypher's got really good control on the map here. The good positioning, even though Avic may have the better stack, Cypher's going to get his dibs on this mega health. Can Avic contain him? Looks like he can't really. And Cypher now can get himself back onto the map, back onto this red armor. And both yellows are up as well. Avic. He's going to go for a bit more damage there. Some rockets coming in as well, but nothing committed just yet. Just playing oh the my gosh, he Avic drops down. His lightning gun's really good, but Cypher, he goes down to five health. Oh my god. Avic almost uh, broke the stalemate that's going on here on map four. And he good needs that god. 50 health bubble. Let's switch over to Avic and see what he's uh, doing. He is just working this position as he's trying to make sure that the Cypher doesn't get onto this mega health. He needs that, he needs that. Oh, I love the dodge there from Cypher. Oh, oh the wow, rocket there! The rocket. Cypher picks it up. That is devastating for Avic as he's been contending control all game long. And well, he does spawn on red and actually escapes without uh, being hurt whatsoever. All he needs now are some weapons and Cypher is fully aware that he can now try and deny the LG and that rocket. But Actually, Avex sneaking below now to the lightning gun. Cypher's let his guard drop. And Avex got a really useful weapon to play with. He Sunny. snuck all the way there. He was, he was basically crouching the entire way around uh, the LG room. That's some good damage there from Cypher. You can see how he's got this mega under lock. I mean, Avex can't really do much about this. And after, and look at all the damage he just got. He can get really aggressive. So I might just rocket jump up. He, yeah, he does it anyway after that direct. And Avex has to retreat there. And Cypher's going to steal away a yellow. And he's probably going to get a red as well. Avex in a lot of trouble here. These plays from Cypher are just stacking up against Avex. But still, Avex tries to pressure. He tries to do his best and he finds damage. So Avex is playing phenomenally as well. Uh, he is, he's playing out of his mind. And he has to if he wants to try and tie this game up. Because it is going to be phenomenally hard. Cypher does not want to drop this frag. And there's the Mega again, and Avic, I'm pretty sure he does know roughly when it is, but uh, he's too concerned with his own stack, and there is a bit of a delay there from Cypher, very sneaky there. And there's other seconds are going to throw Avic off if he thinks he has the time. And Red's up as well, and there goes oh the drop. Oh my gosh, Avic, he finds him, hits the Diet Rocket, and even manages to steal that Red Armor. A little bit of damage from behind, Cypher jumping up to the LG Yellow. Uh, Avic might have opened a small window here. Where she can uh, climb in and shoot down Cypher. But we'll have to see. Cypher he might have to make a tiny error. If he's not 100% certain where Avic is at all times, then he could suddenly sneak up on him. There is, you can see there for a moment. Avic was down below. He just took that mega. He is looking really strong right now. But Cypher's just taken red. Four minutes left now. Still just one frag. And of course, smash point here for Cypher. And they can't let this go to his uh, Russian comrade here. As Cypher tries to get out to center map, gets denied by the grenades, has to find another way around. And very good map control there from Avic so far, using those grenades. And Cypher, he wants to find a very low risk approach onto these big items. Otherwise, Avic's just going to get incredibly stacked. And Avic's going to start poking in. Would expect. I'm actually going to switch over to Avix. Yeah, he let's can, do that. can bring this back. He's got a very nasty stack here. And uh, there is a pickup of Mega. So, Avic, this is his time to find a fight. 
Yeah, well, you know, he might not rush it. That's the thing. Avic doesn't mind waiting until, you know, the last moments, the last clutch uh, plays where he can, you know, pick up a possibly a clean frag and then convert it before there's an overtime. So I, I really won't be surprised if we get the scoreline for a while longer. But actually, oh as Cypher pokes his head out, he picks the opportunity a lot sooner. Red is up, but Avic, he wants to chase. He wants to kill right now. Denies the top yellow. And Cypher, a lot of trouble here. Is he going to chase? He can't do it. Cypher manages to get away and steal a red. Wow, Avic chasing in there. He could have picked up the Mega and the Red Armor after that. And he's going to end up giving away both of them. Uh, what looked so great for him just when it was turned into a complete nightmare. I can't believe he opened up with that direct rocket. That was just... These guys are hitting so damn hard. It's actually insane. Avic has no idea that uh, oh, he's no. and he's being caught out. He's in trouble here. 50 health left. This is this is really bad for Avic now. 50 health that is so low, and he needs to basically slow the game down. And look at the clock. It's two minutes. There's not much time to do something like that. So Avic is inevitably going to be forced to some kind of desperation play or a crazy defense. Oh, that Cypher comes in, burning him down two to zero now. He is going to swing his way over to Mega Health. Red is out, but he does not care right now. This is the chance for him to pick up some more kills and really try and secure this game. And so we only got two minutes remaining. Oh, Avic moves into the plasma area. He's going to be trapped here. Cypher can chase if he wants to. Got to watch out. There is going to be a bit of shotgun damage, but nothing too much to be concerned about. And Cypher, oh my god, he's going to find him again. It's going to be another conversion. Is he going to commit to this one? He comes in, deny the yellow. And there's a bit more LG ammunition if he needs it. 4 0 right now. 90 seconds to go. And Avic, he is in dire straits. Yeah, this. Uh... <laughs> There's, it's going to be incredibly difficult for him to do this. He needs to find something special right now. I'm going to go over to him, see what he's got going for himself. Not very much, unfortunately. He, and he just needs to take the risk soon. That's all there is. At least the yellow together. Maybe he can do something with it. And see if he, can, if he can find a crazy direct. No, such uh, luck just there. And there goes Cypher, moving in onto him. But 60 seconds left now, and Avic kind of stuck at this red. Okay, so this is it. This is it, Zoo. This is the last opportunity for Avic to do something absolutely insane. Uh, watching him right now. Uh, Cypher is uh, actually over at the lightning gun area. Uh, as Avic, I think he's actually waiting for more items. I think he's, he's got so little time, and he's also got to bank on the fact that Cy he's going to be killing Cypher with a lot of health afterwards. Cypher obviously does not want to let him do that. There's a diamond. Okay, and another one. 5 0 right now with 35 seconds left. And this is looking more and more grim here for the Polish player. Cypher, again, a grenade's coming out. Not really any of them hitting, yeah. and they're just playing with each other's dodge. Cypher knows he's got this one down. He just has to hold on tight. Uh, Avec over here again with the grenades. Another one on the direct would actually have killed Cypher. But it is going to be GG right called. there. Six to zero. Cypher goes through to the wow. grand finals of DreamHack Winter 2013. Amazing performances. And you've got to hand it.